After Altamont, Keith Richards said um, that the Angels should not be blamed at all because how can however many Angels there were there control 350, 450,000 people? No. In Hyde Park, um, there were at least a quarter of a million people there who were controlled. Well, so were they at Woodstock, but there was no control at Woodstock. With Woods Woodstock and Altamont, the same situations were prevailing in terms of uh, how it was for the people there. It was free, essentially, and uh, it was also uh, completely without control of any sort. You know, there was there were no police. I mean, there was no there's no way you can realistically control that size. Really, you can't expect to. Uh, the way I saw it, both of those situations being sort of like two, two sides of the same coin. It's like two ways that that kind of expression can go, you know, of, of a huge number of people and no rules. And one of the ways, obviously, you can go is into a terrible bummer like Altamont, and a, one of the other ways is into an immensely joyful scene like Woodstock. And they both had their extremes, but they were both sort of characterized by a kind of a you know, by this heaviness, man, this is sort of historical heaviness, you know. Lots of people, more people than you've ever seen in your life, you know. You said that uh, Stan Cutler was uh, regarded as an outlaw. Well, in a manner of speaking, for example, all the media calls him a murderer be behind Altamont. In reality, he was like the innocent victim of circumstances, just like everybody there was, just like the guy who got killed was, yeah. in fact. You know. Does this not bother you at all, really? No, it doesn't, because uh, we've never been those people anyway. I mean, we've never had much approval in front, right? You know, we've always been sort of an outlaw group our, uh, on our own, just because of that's who we are. And so, it, no, it doesn't. What relationship, actually, do you have with the Angels? Our relationship with the Angels is that we both exist in essentially the same area and we both know e that each other exists and they outnumber us about 90 to 1 and uh, we get along okay with them. You know, I mean, they're, uh, those guys are guys that uh, we all know. We've known them for years, you know, and, and there's we don't have any fight with them, but we do know that they are Hell's Angels and that they're capable of uh, doing a lot of pretty amazing things. and. We just stay out of their way. Have you actually asked them to safeguard or even do any bodyguard work for Well, at for times you? they've found themselves in that position. You know, we don't have to ask them to do that, but like when we did the, the be-in in the park back in, I forget when, 66, I guess, 67 or 66, uh, the angels were at that scene strictly just to be there, you know, just to hell's angels being there, and it seemed like it would be a good thing to be at music and all. And they sort of found themselves in a position of taking care of lost kids, uh, watching the stage, uh, that kind of thing, you know. They just started doing it. Nobody asked them to do 